on, niggas think they run the towns and we run them out of town and they gotta relocate, got a different where they stay, everything will be okay, man, just stay up on my way. Damn. Yo, what's up with the sneaker heads? Now, sneaker heads, everything in between. It's your boy Trey D at Trey D's Kicks coming to you live from the vehicle. And yes, today is Saturday. It is what? June 30th. It's the end of June, man. And so we are halfway done with the whole year 2018, man. And it's been quick so far, man. But anyway, your boy is actually about to head into the mall, man, because I actually got the Yeezys. The, Everyone knows it's butters. Yeah. the Yeezy's butters, man. So actually, I got a lot of pair. Um, I'm actually going to pick up three pair. Um, I'm gonna leave the other ones, man. It's just, it's just crazy. And so y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all, let me know if y'all got a bunch of pairs because it seems like it was just way too many Yeezys this time. Um, but I'm actually about to go in here, get these three, and then. Sneaker Con is today as well. Dallas Sneaker Con is today. And so I'm headed out that way as well. But I'm going to do this video first. And then I'm going to do the Sneaker Con video. Y'all, y'all will see. Y'all will see it, man. So all I'm saying is y'all are going to see me in the same thing right here. At least two videos. So that's what I'm saying. So don't think I don't take showers because I take showers frequently. Frequently. That's all I'm saying. So let's go ahead and get in here, man. So, I've already recorded this video one time, but I really wasn't satisfied with it. So now, I'm recording it one more time, and it's after SneakerCon, but the video that you will see today, it is for today, but the video that you'll see tomorrow is like it was for today. And so, it's really for tomorrow, but still like today. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't get it. Anyway, man, your boy actually has the 350 V2s right here in hand. So the videos are going to be out of order, but just know it, it makes sense right here. When you see it, it may not make sense, but um, it's kind of hard to explain, man. But just enjoy the video for what it is, you know what I'm saying? And I actually have three pair, well I had three pair of Yeezys. Now, you can see I'm left with one pair and shouts out to, wait, hold on. Shouts out to Sticker Tight because they put a sticker on this joint right here, which I definitely appreciate right there. So use my code TRADE D and you can get 10% off of your entire purchase at Sticker Tight. So definitely go and check them out. So those other two have already been sold so I figured, you know what, while I have one, let me go ahead and bring it back and do a true review. Let's go ahead and get into this one, man. Now the actual colorway is butter, butter, butter. So if you did not know, these are the Yeezy. Everyone knows it's butter. Right, me. Right, from, from South Park, right? So if you don't know South Park, then I, I mean, well, you know. These ended up retailing for $220. Now with tax and all, it ends up coming out to $237.60. How do I know that? Because I just bought three pair of these joints. You had to have the cash. Bam, right here, man. And you have the Yeezy, let's get rid of that box. The Yeezy 350 B2 Butters right here in hand off top man what i would say is definitely check your tags even though there were plenty of them around you know they still make fake so definitely check your tags and make sure these things are legit um if you bought them off of somebody um, if you did not get them in the retail store but this is them right here and if you will notice right off the bat yellow yellow so these are the butter colors to me not your whole upper now the upper is more like a kind of like a creamish color not like the cream Yeezys because that's too white but these are like a true cream to me so I don't know if the camera is picking up but that's what these are to me 
So, and then you have your stitch going all the way up. And that's the main part I think that I like about this shoe is the stitching going all the way up. It looks like they put a little bit of detail in it. And then of course, you have your stitching on the back right here as well. And then going to the inside, you have your three stripes right there, right here for Adidas. And then let me see, you can go in here, yeah. So you have Adidas Yeezys in the insole right there. So you see that. And then let's go to the midsole. Of course, these are the ridges and they cover up the boost. And then once you go to the bottom, let's call it the Wrigley Spearmint gum bottom because it's not dark, but it's a light gum bottom. So it's not like the, the harsh gum bottom. So more like Wrigley Spearmint gum. So you have your boost right here. And then of course you have this, I'm just saying it's the word boost right there. And then you have of course your boost going throughout the shoe right here as well on your outsole. So if you will notice that you don't have the SPLY um, here, I mean, maybe it's there, but you can't see it. I can't see it. I just didn't look that hard at these shoes, but I can't see it. Um, I think they're trying to get away from that with Adidas. I'm not too sure, but uh, the quality on them looks really good. I don't see any glue stains on this one. Uh, let's switch to this one. Yeah, on this one, I don't see any glue stains either. So they look pretty good. I mean, so it looks like they took some time into them, man. I mean, for $220, man, you shouldn't have, like, any flaws on these shoes. You know what I'm saying? Even though these were mass-produced. Y'all let me know down in the comment section, man, if you were able to pick up multiple pairs. Like I said, I was able to get, like, about six pairs. I only picked up three. So somebody got those other pairs that I didn't pick up, which is fine to me, man. But, you know, um, that's just it's just a lot. So they looks like they flooded the market with these joints this time. Um, the resale is not that high on them right now. Uh, StockX, I think, right now is like $300 for a size 11, which is, I guess, not too bad, man, considering 237 is with tax and all. So, I'm just saying, man, if you want to get them, you still can, and it's not too bad above resale. Uh, so, that is pretty much it on the uh, Yeezy V2 350. Y'all let me know if y'all cop or if y'all passed on these joints, man. Um, these will more than likely will be going up for sale. I can't see myself wearing these things. Um, but for Yeezys, man, your boy is an honorary reseller. So that's just me. I'm just saying, man. Uh, but for the most part, they look pretty good. And y'all just let me know what y'all think. So yeah, man, with all of that being said, your boy is about to go ahead and get out of here, man. 350 V2s. Um, Yeezys, butter, butter, butter. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Cop, drop. I know there was a lot of stuff that actually came out today. So the International 3s, you had the Westbrook 10s. You had, of course, these. And then you had Levi's. Um, I had no shot at Levi's or what, whatever, man. But I didn't want the 3s or I didn't want the 10s. So, you know, I just picked these up so I could sell them. But, um... That's about it, man. Your boy's about to go ahead and get out of here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. With all of that being said, I will look.